are you? So today we're going to be learning more about who we are and the fact that even though we look different, that also makes us special. So we're going to be reading a book called The Invisible Boy and we're going to learn about Brian who for some reason people don't seem to see him. He thinks he's invisible. So we're going to learn more about him and why people would think that he's invisible. Yes, stay still. <laughs> Alrighty. And because I want you to know that you're not invisible and that we can see you, we're going to be making a mirror, right? Because that is the way or the tool that we use in order for us to see ourselves and be able to learn more about who we are and what makes us special in terms of what we who, physically who we are. So we're going to be doing that and I'll show you how to do that in a minute. First, we're going to read the story. So let's go ahead and do that and then I'll show you what to do with this activity. Hello everyone, this is Miss Paulette, and today I'll be reading you a story about Brian, the Invisible Boy. Nobody ever seems to notice him or think to include him in their group, game, or birthday party. Until, that is, a new kid comes to class. When Justin, the new boy, arrives, Brian is the first to make him feel welcome. And when Brian and Justin team up to work on a class project together, Brian finds a way to shine. The Invisible Boy, written by Trudy Ludwig and illustrated by Patrice Barton. Can you see Brian, the Invisible Boy? Even Miss Carlotti has trouble noticing him in her classroom. She's too busy dealing with Nathan and Sophie. Nathan has problems with what Miss Carlotti calls volume control. He uses his outside voice inside too much. Sophie whines and complains when she doesn't get her way. Nathan and Sophie take up a lot of space. Brian doesn't. When the bell rings for recess, Micah and JT take turns choosing kids for their kickball teams. The best players get picked first. Then the best friends of the best players. Then the friends of the best friends. Only Brian is left, still waiting and hoping. JT glances in Brian's direction and, just as quickly, looks away. We've got enough players for each team, he tells the others. Let's play ball. In the cafeteria, Madison and her friends talk about her birthday party. The rope swing over the pool was awesome, says JT. Yeah, so was the water slide, adds Fiona. That was the best pool party ever! I'm so glad you guys had fun, says Madison. Everybody did, except Brian. He wasn't invited. At choosing time, while the other kids play board games and read, Brian sits at his table, doing what he loves to do best. He draws fire-breathing dragons scaling tall buildings. Thank you for toasting my marshmallow. Space aliens locked in intergalactic battles. I got you now. Greedy pirates digging for treasure. Crackers are Yay! And superheroes with the power to make friends wherever they go. Hi. Hi, friend. Have a cookie. On Monday morning, Miss Carlotti introduces Justin, a new student, to the class. Brian smiles shyly at him. Some of the other kids sneak looks at Justin, trying to figure out if he's cool enough to be their friend. They haven't quite made up their minds yet. At lunch, Madison and JT watch Justin eat with chopsticks. 
What's that? asks Madison as she points at Justin's food. It's bulgogi. Bul what? Bulgogi. It's Korean barbecued beef. My grandma made it for me. It's really good. Do you want to try some? There's no way I'd eat boogergy. And the kids laugh. All of them, that is, except Brian. He sits there wondering, which is worse, being laughed at or feeling invisible? The next day, when Justin goes to his cubby to put away his backpack, he notices a piece of paper with his name on it. Justin, I thought the bulgogi looked good. Brian. At morning recess, Brian finds a piece of chalk on the ground and starts drawing away. You're Brian, right? Yeah. Thanks for the note. Hey, Justin, Emilio calls out from the tether ball court. You're up next. Sorry, I gotta go, says Justin. By the way, that's a really cool drawing, he adds before taking off. Back in class, Miss Carlotti asks the kids to team up in twos or threes for a special project. The kids scurry around the room to pair off. Brian heads toward Justin. I'm already with Justin, says Emilio. Find someone else. Brian looks at the floor, wishing he could draw a hole right there to swallow him up. Miss Carlotti said we can have up to three people in our group. We're only two. Come on, Emilio. Let him work with us. Okay, I guess. Miss Carlotti gives the class directions for the project. Your assignment is to work together to write a story about what you see in that photograph. Just use your imagination and have fun. Whoa, cool, says Emilio. What kind of people do you think would live in houses like that? I don't know, but I bet Brian could draw them to go with our story, says Justin. Brian smiles as he takes out his lucky pen. It's lunchtime again. Brian's least favorite part of the day. Another 20 long minutes of kids talking and laughing with everyone else but him. Brian! He hears someone shout, Hey, Brian, over here! Brian turns and sees Justin waving him over. Emilio nods at Brian as he makes room for him at the table. Cookie? Thanks. Maybe, just maybe, Brian's not so invisible after all. Alrighty, my friends, this is what you're going to need. You should have a cutout or the outline of a mirror. You should also have a piece of foil that on one side is blue and on the other it's this metallic paper. And then in the bag you have a bunch of different kinds of things that you can glue on your mirror to decorate it. So we'll start by cutting out the mirror part. Actually, let's cut out this part first. Okay. And now I'm going to add some glue to put down this mirror. Grab your glue and we're going to add the glue to the blue side. Okay, so just add your glue. Okay, and we're going to adhere this to the middle of your mirror. You can smooth it out, that way you get less wrinkles. the mirror part of, or there's the reflective part, part that allows us to see your reflection. Okay, so we 
have the mirror part and then the frame. Okay, so now what we will do is cut out the frame. So now that I have the mirror, now I need to add all the little details to it to make it nice and pretty. So I think I'm going to use, let me move my fan before everything starts flying everywhere. So let me start with, okay. So take out your baggie carefully because there's a lot of things in here, okay. And I think I'm going to start with the gem. So I'm just gonna find the gems first and I'm going to put those first, okay? You can do this however you want. We Okay, you should have different gems in there. Okay. Now if you have some at home, you can use those at home, right? You don't have to use these. These are the ones I sent you so that you can use. So you should have these. Okay, now I'm just going to add different things. I think I'm going to add these circles that have different colors. Let's see. Oh, there's a blue one. And then let's do this red one. Okay. And then maybe a silver one. One. You can put it in whatever style you want. It's up to you. It's your mirror. Okay. Alrighty, friends. So here's my mirror. I ended up decorating it. I did a bit of a mosaic here at the handle with my confetti. Okay, and that's what my mirror looks like. Okay, now uh, another thing that I did is I took the foil and I cut it into little pieces and put it back in my bag. And I also cut a bit of this purple scrap and I put it in here and I made little confetti. Now I'll save this because next time we do the sight word collage that we do, instead of using pasta and stuff, you can use these to make a cool collage, okay? So save these for the next time we have art. So then you have some of these confetti pieces, okay? Alrighty, my friend, this was today's activity. You have a mirror, okay? You can decorate it however you want. And I can't wait to see yours. Make sure you send it to me. Send a picture through Class Dojo. All right? Have fun. Bye-bye.